200 months, 300 months, and, and life in prison. So, yeah, you're right. Only they're, the they're, big, heinous, heinous, heinous. They're the number four on the sentence. And then there's more so credibility for the sentences that are in the past. Yeah. But, and again, you know, have you ever died in this country? I'm telling you, there is a very, very high chance of it. In 1938, he was a You're defending him. Yeah, because, uh, uh, you know, Trader Joe's is so English, but I just want to understand. The English muffins are so good that a guy, that it's okay that a guy took a gun in there no. and scared everybody. No, 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 no. I'm all I'm You doing. can understand why he selected Trader Joe's. That's one, and I, I, would, I, would, argue, and I would argue uh, that, that in mitigation. And I... Okay, well, I think that I think that those arguments and observations are full of a bunch of nooks and crannies. Ah, oh, very good. We'll come back. Uh, this is KFI. Jennifer, hello. Hello. It looks like another day of trouble for air travelers with flight delays and cancellations already stacking up. The flight tracking website FlightAware puts the number of flights strapped within, within, into, or out of the U.S. at 1,200. President Biden's meeting with his COVID response team today on a new plan to fight the Omicron variant. And that Powerball jackpot just keeps growing. There was no big winner in last night's drawing. That means the jackpot is up to $575 million. We'll take a look at your ride with DKFI in the sky next. Attention savvy investors. Looking for predictable monthly cash flow? Want to reduce uncertainty? Hedge inflation and stock market risk with double-digit targeted returns? If you want the safety and security of a real estate investment, but without the hassles of being a landlord, you've probably heard of NRIA. NRIA is an industry-leading real estate development firm in its 15th year developing strategically located, lower-risk, high-demand neighborhoods based on supply, demand, and balance. They're a great fit for safety-oriented investors who want cash flow and diversification into carefully chosen real estate. Learn more about the NRIA Real Estate Development Fund at nria.net or call 800-800-1414. That's 800-800-1414. An offer of securities is only made by the NRIA private placement number and read it first. Past performance does not guarantee future results. NRIA is a real estate development fund. Learn more at NRIA.net. Get back to visiting new and exciting places across the U.S. I am It isn't just about the destination, it's about the journey. With our busy airports or cramped car rides. With no middle seats, extra leg room, and even private rooms, click now at Amtrak.com. Adventurous journey is just an Amtrak away. Check out weather from KFI, sunny today with highs in the mid 50s to the mid 60s. This report is brought to you by Amtrak. Oh, it's easy. California Toyota dealers. I hate it. We make it easy. We are watching the 57. You better walk, no cancellation. You better go slow down here, that's for sure. We're going to look at North 57 and 530. That's as you come away from the San Bernardino freeway and even the 71 if you headed that way. It's just too strong to down or the strong to down. It'll be a dirty. A lot of that shoulder activity. This wasn't lame for a while, it's kind of concerned for the best. Just be careful, stay to the left, and as you go by, you'll, you'll be okay, you'll be able to ice and stuff. Now, if you do transition to the west uh, 210, it's definitely slow, but no major problems in your way, and once you get through the 605, pretty good drive to Pasadena. Now, as I speak here, we are flying west side over the San Francisco freeway, we're coming up over New Avenue right now. It's been remarkably good, really, coming off Kellogg Interchange to the 605, a little slowing. As I look down here, everybody's still moving, a lot of spaces in between the cars. But we're headed to a problem, and so are you, probably, uh, around the west end of the five. So more on that coming up. Don't go away. Internet in action, if it's Superwoman, superlawyer.com, Jeff Farr, AFI in the sky. This report is sponsored by Del Taco. Feel like everything costs a bajillion dollars lately? Del Taco gets it, and they got you. Del Taco's new 20 other two menu includes 20 fresh made guacamole, cheesy, spicy, and crunchy items for under two dollars each. Can I get a Del Yeah? Price of participation may vary. Step into the new when you drive a Chevy. It's time for a fresh approach and a new perspective. Meet new friends or reconnect with some old ones. See the world in a brand new light and find the study that's right for you. From the strongest, most advanced Silverado ever, to the versatile Equinox, or the Stylus Racer. You're bound to drive home, study it your own way. So what are you waiting for? Find new roads to your local Chevy. Wow. Neo U is my new favorite fitness app, and at $3.99 a month, I can't believe everything I get. 
real-time posting, daily live workouts for I Can See My Friends, plus thousands of on-demand classes like strength, boot camp, yoga, and more. I'm obsessed with new and use interactive workouts for my instructors to see and talk to me. And when you sign up for a 60-day free trial by January 31st, you'll pay just $3.99 a month. Sign up now at neoufitness.com. That's neoufitness.com. Every change, our lives are filled with choices. So simple and life can be something that's not a good addiction to opioids. But even if you have opioids in this world, you can't By shooting treatment, you choose family, your career, and your life on your terms. Choose more for yourself and choose King, California. Find a medical treatment treatment option that's right for you at choosechangeca.org. Okay, my 2021 resolution is to lose 20 pounds. Well, there are only 30 to go. Now I'll give Cot Rita to visit the window. The playoff shower comes with a literal wall of big screens at sidelines, college of pro. The only place to go is Orlando. Number two. David Spade. Live January 14th. And the number one reason. Hey, you just told it. You play to get them, so you decide how to spend them. Miranda. Good time. As the expert in transmissions for over 50 years, there's nothing at AMCO we haven't heard. So I hit the gas? Yeah. Hit the belt. And nothing we can't fix. It's going... What's that? From transmissions to brakes and everything in between. No credit? Finance your repair at AMCO. Exclusions apply may not be combined with any other offer. Limited time offer at purchase fitting centers only. People who know go to AMCO. Double A, MCO. We've weathered this pandemic by doing our part to protect each other. So let's stick to what's proven to keep us safer from COVID-19 and its barriers, like masking up in public indoor settings, getting tested before and after traveling and gathering, and staying home if you feel sick. Let's keep our immunity strong. Visit myturn.ca.gov or call 833-422-4255 to find a vaccine or booster near you. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Sideline the panic, sideline the this is nothing, and just be sensible. Figure out who in your life you think is going to be the most vulnerable. Make sure that you have a hedge of protection around them for this thing. Be right. careful, Gary and Janet, and then go live your life. We gave the day on KMI. <laughs> It is a really cold. The snap continues uh, Tuesday morning, January 4th, as uh, we are very close to the beginning of 2020. One day. Yesterday, I'll start. I'll bet you already knew Let's uh, finish up handle on the news with uh, Wayne and me and Jennifer. Do you notice that? I wow, you completely mixed it up. Oh, you never know what's going to happen with you. You're crazy. Yeah. Never right. done it. Never done it. Yeah. All right. Uh, here you go. Delaney Maxwell gets convicted on charges of sex trafficking. And now her secret husband has told her, yeah, I moved on him with another woman. Apparently, he told her on a prison phone call that he moved on with this other woman. And she, I mean, she's been called Jeffrey Epstein's girlfriend for eons, right? But she, in 2016, married this secret guy, and I guess they're married, they kept their... Why? Why a secret? I don't know. Maybe that was the... I mean, I'm speculating here. But maybe that was the way that she and Jeffrey Epstein kept this... Uh, Relationship going. Because if it looked like it was this guy and his girl, that right. was a lot more diffusing. Yeah, maybe. And of course, she would never cheat uh, on uh, a husband, would she? All right, let's go ahead and move on. Are you implying that her morals and ethics are not of the highest caliber? Oh, yeah, pretty much. Mm. Oh. oh, here we go. Madeline Moms, uh, Beth Davis is fighting breast cancer. And her dream, before she should pass on, is for her daughter Molly to get married. So, Mom has a billboard up in Times Square with a picture of Molly, and it says, Date My Daughter, and the URL to her dating profile. Now, Molly's not paying for this. This was provided by the dating app Wingman. 
who saw this profile that Beth put up there on behalf of her daughter and thought it was so touching and everything that they uh, arranged for the billboard, also getting themselves a little free publicity to group. Yeah, I think this is a win-win. You know, you know, very heartfelt. And I'm trying to figure out a way how, how I make fun of this, and I can't. Um, and Molly is beautiful. Molly is... Molly should, will have no trouble getting it. Oh, but she's 30 and she hasn't found a man. Oh, By the way, what is that telling I'm you? I'm going huh? down this road now with my tongue in my cheek, just so you know. She's 30 yet and she hasn't found a man yet, so what's wrong with her? And, uh, hey, I... So I'm, I'm, just, for, I'm just relating to uh, yeah, Wayne and with she's terrific and is a heartfelt one. Yeah, she's she's right. beautiful and fantastic and uh, yet... 30. Maybe she's too picky. It could be that. Could be that too. Um, I just have a question. Jennifer and or Morgan, would you be thrilled or mortified if you uh, had a billboard up in Times Square trying to marry you up? Mortified. Uh, yeah, mortified. Morgan Yeah, but what if you're desperate? You know? Uh, you don't know. You can't find the right guy. I, I didn't want to put my own up. I don't want my mom putting me up. Let me say that. Hey, Molly is a medical device salesperson in Boston. Those are pretty nice good money. Any guys out there are uh, looking for someone? I don't know. All right, Apple has become the world's first $30 trillion company. Remember when it was a big deal then? Oh, Apple's become the first trillion dollar company. Now we just keep dying. And you know, that's so mind-boggling. That's more than many, many countries and their GDP. I mean, it's just so it's astounding, that, no, that number. And Microsoft is 2.5 trillion. Alphabet is 2 trillion. Amazon, this surprised me, was 1.7 trillion. For some reason, I thought Amazon would be higher on the list. You know, I thought stock price. Right, right. And yeah, all the things have to do with profit margins uh, that are insane with uh, Apple. Uh, much more so than almost any other company. Because you pay and just ridiculous money. I have to replace my phone. Yeah, I'm looking uh, at various phones, which of course are on order because uh, they're you know, totally back on. Uh, yeah, uh, the prices are just breathtaking. Yeah. And yet, they can't keep them in stock. Yeah. Oh, here I am, having gone to the Verizon store. And, oh, no, no, the phone you want uh, comes in March or April. Ooh. Oh, you could probably do better than that. I'll do some checking. Yeah, because are you serious though? Do you really want a new one? Because I'm gonna want to get the same one that I have. The same model? Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, why are you? Why are you getting a new phone? Yeah, why are you like crazy and it's two and a half years and you have to replace them? Uh, I mean, it glitches. The battery just disappears after 20 minutes. I mean, I can replace the battery, but it just doesn't, it just doesn't do, do a good job. All right. Well, Jen, you also uh, informed the people of this earlier today. Little Caesars Hot and Ready pieces are no longer $5. They have been $5 for 25 years? That can't be correct. No, it is. I mean, almost 20, almost 25 yeah. years. They have been $5, which means they weren't that big of a bargain 25 years ago, I well, guess. I know they were the way that they were going to bargain then. They were less than other pizzas, and today they're a third the price of pizzas. It's like Costco. Uh, for a dollar fifty, you get a hot dog uh, and you get a drink uh, and free refills. That's been going on for 30, 35 years. That's and specifically meant to be a lost leader, though. Yes, it is, and I'm assuming and that this is too. Caesars uses the hot and ready as a lost. It's not like. If we sell a five dollar hot and ready pizza, they'll come in and buy five more pizzas at a higher price. Yeah, I don't know. Or uh, when you buy a coke with it, the coke is twelve dollars. I don't know. Uh, how they so do. they're five dollars and fifty five cents now. But it's a new and improved version that has thirty three percent more pepperoni. So there's an argument to be made. You're still getting the same money for it. Yeah, what they don't tell you is the pizza's four inches in diameter. Oh, it's not that small. And then the other thing is, it's hot and ready. You don't have to wait. I don't even think you have to... Do you have to call in and order no, one? No, I don't think so. I think they're there. I walk in off the street and grab a pizza. Yeah, they're just hanging. 
Uh, we are done. Uh, that's it. We will uh, do this again at 8 30 with late edition. And uh, coming up, uh, LA has a new plan for creating much, much more housing. And I think you're going to be surprised at who and what groups are fighting that plan. Uh, I read this story and I go, really? I mean, that's kind of surprising. And we'll do that when we come out. This is KFI AM640, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Shock Bullet, simulating hot. KFI AM640, Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Hospitalizations are up. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. LA County Health Officials say the people in the hospital with COVID-19 has increased. And according to Health Director Barbara Ferrer, most of those people are unvaccinated or have underlying health conditions like obesity, diabetes, or immunity issues. Last Monday, there were 904 patients being treated for the virus, and as of last night, the number jumped up to 1,792. Ferrer says there has been an unusual jump in kids admitted to a hospital with COVID-19. She says most of the adult cases are women, and the highest case count is among Hispanics. He's Gregory Kinefi News. Three COVID testing kits are in short supply. Last month, Governor Newsom promised that schools would receive at-home COVID-19 test kits before students return from winter break. But so far, only half of the six million promised kits have been delivered. The LA School District reopened its testing centers yesterday. Protesters in Huntington Beach have spoken out about COVID-19 vaccine mandate language that they say will be quietly passed into new legislation. Moms for Liberty Orange County Chair Catherine Rokeman says parents should be in charge of what is safe for their kids. It's too soon and their bodies are still developing. We don't have enough information. We need more long-term studies to see the effects. Um, parents should have that choice for their kids. Rohanian says the choice can't be between a mandatory vaccine or putting kids in distance learning. Dozens of protesters carried signs yesterday that read, Stop the prick, and the government is not a parent. The Newport Beach City Hall and Community Centers have closed because of a jump in COVID cases among city employees during the holidays. We were seeing reports as high as 10 or 11 per day. Newport Beach spokesman Don Pope says this appears to be the first of such closures in Orange County during a winter surge of COVID-19 cases. We have a lean staff in Newport Beach to begin with, and so we want to maintain and make sure that we're maintaining services and not having to uh, shut down services because we have a large number of employees having to quarantine. Pope says the city will reevaluate the closures in two weeks. Some services at libraries will remain open for now. In Orange County, Corbin Carson, KFI News. Emergency responders in Mount Baldy are asking people to respect people's private property when parking their cars. Unfortunately, people's driveways get blocked. People uh, walk on the other property, use it as a restroom sometimes, use their trash, picnic. Uh, so for the residents, it can be quite frustrating at times. Now, Baldy Fire Chief Graham Henderson is also asking people not to block roadways when they park their cars. He says the combination of illegal parking and heavy traffic led to crews taking three times as long to reach someone who needed help over the weekend. Elizabeth Holmes has been convicted of misleading investors. The entrepreneur claims her blood testing technology would be a game changer in the medical industry. She was found guilty on two counts of wire fraud and two counts of conspiracy to commit fraud. But the jury found her not guilty on four other counts of fraud and conspiracy and deadlocked on three other charges. ABC News legal analyst Dan Abrams says despite the mixed verdicts, he doesn't think there'll be a retrial on those three counts. Which, even if she was convicted of in the next trial, would probably be served at the same time as whatever sentence she's going to get in connection with the other four. Abrams says he thinks Holmes' sentence will be in the range of three to ten years. Betty White's agent says the late TV icon died of natural causes on New Year's Eve. He says White died peacefully in her sleep at home. He told People magazine that social media posts that said her death was related to getting a booster shot three days before she died are not true. The Pink Hot Dogs in Hollywood is helping the late Betty White keep her love for animals going. The restaurant's La Brea location is donating proceeds from Betty White's naked dogs to the LA Zoo. Signs for the hot dogs read just the beef in the bun. This man from Kansas City says he happened to be at Pink while the plain hot dog was being advertised. I'm trying to get a chili dog too, but I saw the sign and thought, uh, out of respect to Betty White, I'm going to get a hot dog. White has served many years on the Greater Los Angeles Zoo Association's Board of Trustees. The donations will continue for the next several days. In Hollywood, Blake Trolley, KFI News.
Let's get an update on your drive on the 10. You betcha. As promised last time around here, here we go. Now, the problem is uh, really at the always super busy I-5 Golden State and 10 interchange right outside the County General Hospital. It improved a whole bunch. Uh, so, so, again, if you're still heading this way, the only thing that's still shut down right now is the West 10 State Street off-ramp. Other than that, all the lanes, the express, the main lines, all that is open. So just be careful. If you're going to use tape before you pass Soto, get off at Soto. That'll get you where you need to be. And, again, the transitions to the I-5 both directions are open. No problems there. Uh, the West 10 coming in from the 605 round, Baldwin Park was, was still in pretty good shape. And I had a good look at the 134, there was a little bit of a problem going to the West 10 on Grand Central, over to the shoulder, that's no problem. As I speak to you now, we're over the 101, uh, coming through uh, Woodman right now, and both guys are in pretty good shape. We're going up to the uh, 118 fiber, it might be something going on there, I'll let you know. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, Superlawyer.com, Jeff Fong, KFI in the sky. A short-handed Clippers squad fell to the Minnesota Timberwolves by score of 122 to 104, committing 21 turnovers and dropping back to 1919 on the season. The loss was especially disappointing for LA guard Reggie Jackson, who had been on a very particular NBA record streak. 19 wins in a row against the Wolves, a run going all the way back to 2013. It's over now. The Lakers get the Sacramento Kings at 7.30 tonight. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. With Patriot Software.com, accounting and payroll, keep your time and money. Mike Chappell here, serial entrepreneur with words from another happy payroll customer. Well, it's very easy to use. Um, the login and the setup was extremely easy. I didn't have to call anyone for help. I was able to do it on my own. And I love the fact that I can run my payroll and print my pay stubs, and then you guys do all of the filing for me. So I get a quarterly report that everything's been filed on my behalf, and then at the end of the year, I can print out my W-2s. So I use you guys. I tell everybody, it's the easiest thing I've ever done. Why anybody doesn't use y'all, I don't know. Visit us at PatriotSoftware.com. Use promo code RADIO and get two months of payroll free. That's PatriotSoftware.com. With PatriotSoftware.com, accounting and payroll, keep your time and money. Checking things off of your DMV to-do list is now a lot faster because now the DMV has made it even easier to take care of tasks online. It all starts there. Maybe you need to get your vehicle registration renewed or transfer a title. You can get it all done online from the comfort of your couch. So if you have DMV tasks, save yourself some time and get them done online. DMV.ca.gov. Ready when you are. Here's your KFI financial report. The Dow is up 281, S&P up 14, NASDAQ down 78, and the average price of a gallon of unleaded gas in California is $4.66. Your SoCal weather from KFI, we've got a sunny and cool day ahead. Highs will just be in the mid-50s to mid-60s, and we'll drop back into the upper 30s and lower 40s for tonight. Right now it's 46 in Irvine, 43 in Laguna Beach, 40 in Pasadena. We need local. Live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. Good morning, Joe Handel here on a Tuesday morning, January 4th. A cold morning. And some of the big news we're covering uh, is Elizabeth Holmes. Uh, yep. Found guilty, even though uh, the jury was hung on several counts, doesn't really matter. Uh, she's going to prison for years. No question about that. Uh, and if you call 911, uh, expect a delay uh, because uh, the emergency responders, 911, uh, they're out because of COVID. Uh, so ambulances are forced to wait to offload patients at hospitals and health uh, various facilities, clinics, etc. Can you imagine them just sitting there waiting for hours on end? You know, you're on a, a gurney in the hospital, and uh, I mean, what, what do they do? They take out cards and uh, you start playing canasta uh, while you're waiting? I mean, it's just uh, crazy. All right, there's a story I want to share with you that I had uh, told about. Uh, mentioning earlier this morning that we are going to speak about it this uh, segment. 
and uh, that is uh, about housing uh, in Southern California. We know that housing, Southern California and uh, the Bay Area, uh, just is, uh, is such a dearth of housing uh, that, I mean, we're reeling from it. So six weeks ago, LA City Council approved a new strategy uh, and release to local renters and home buyers uh, over the next eight years, uh, nearly half a million new homes. And uh, this plan, known as the City Housing Element, uh, it's an initiative, and uh, it uh, would establish one of the most ambitious rezoning programs in the country. And it des it's desperately needed. Oh, man, this is crazy. So who's fighting this? Says, no, we don't want this housing. The AIDS Healthcare Foundation. Uh, they have a history of, of, of fighting L.A. planning decisions. And they're going to try to uh, torpedo this one. Why? Well, yeah, their strategy is, they say city officials did not properly ask, uh, assess or access the environmental impacts of the strategy, which is a clock. They just want to stop it. They're just coming up with something. You know, it's like a death penalty attorney. Just they will throw anything against the wall, and this, is, I think, is the case. So last month, lawsuit was filed, and uh, the AIDS Healthcare Foundation uh, argued the plan would allow officials to upzone much of the city, allowing developers to construct taller, denser buildings. That's true. That's the point of putting more housing on a given space or in a given space. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Uh, and they're saying, nope, nope, uh, because you also have an obligation to provide affordable housing. Well. Uh, there is affordable housing. A good percentage of any new building of any size, it, it's affordable housing. Not enough. Not enough. They want more. Plenty more. Because uh, this plan would create, I'm going to quote now, more painful displacement of persons, homelessness, and gentrification in the city. So I, I think effectively it's uh, let's just build all affordable housing. Uh, now, uh, who pays for it? Uh, there's no profit in it. Uh, the rent itself is minimal. Yep, that's what we want. Uh, now, uh, the Department of City Planning defended uh, the plan, saying, uh, first of all, we are complying with the environmental law, uh, and we are uh, complying with uh, the strategy for producing 185,000 units of lower-income housing. Out of, ha out of half a million new units. I mean, we're talking, what, 40%? Not enough. Now, the law requires uh, L.A. to update its housing element uh, in this plan, because it just keeps on going every eight years. Uh, and it actually takes into account, uh, account population growth, uh, making sure that there's enough land zoned in a way that meets its housing needs. And it really is all about the uh, zone. Developers will come into an area if there's enough money to be made. I mean, we have a market system. Now, you have housing, uh, low-income housing, which is all governmental programs, and that's subsidized by governments and grants, etc. But in reality, if you're going to build half a million homes or units of housing, and 40% of that is low income, uh, that leaves 60% where the developers have to make money. And the only way they're going to be able to buy enough land or buy land where it pans out, there's enough profit, is you need density, which is why uh, mother-in-law suites are now allowed all, all over the city. Right? Normally, you wouldn't be able to have uh, a, a structure behind your house uh, or convert your garage. Well, you know what? We need the housing. And the city is allowing it. And they're rezoning property. And you have these low-income organizations, or advocating, in this case, it's the uh, AIDS Healthcare Foundation, uh, that are effectively saying, you know what? That ain't enough. We need more. And then they come up with, you can't argue we need more, because that doesn't fly. A city has the, excuse me, a city has the absolute right to determine zoning. 
What it can't do is redline or um, uh, they can't discriminate black areas, white areas, that sort of thing. But the city zoning plan and the laws allow the city to have the absolute right to determine. So how do these organizations get around that? Uh, you didn't do your environmental study correctly. Uh, you didn't do the impact. You didn't do the studies of traffic. You didn't take into account that homelessness is growing. So they're filing these ridiculous lawsuits. Uh, we, we need the housing. I mean, there's no way around it. Taller buildings, more units, more crammed into a limited amount of sp uh, space. And uh, the AIDS Healthcare Foundation is not alone. There are plenty of organizations, particularly those advocating low-income housing, and not necessarily just those, who are saying, well, this really be, this really should be a social issue. Nothing more. Shouldn't be about developers making money. It shouldn't be about de developers buying land and asking for rezoning. It's all about homelessness. Well, let's get real, please. So wake up in the morning and look out the window and just just get a grip on reality. Uh, here's a good one coming up. Sex workers and uh, how they're pitted against each other. There is a fight over sex laws. No, loitering laws. That's how the cops get these hookers and Johns. Why are they all named John, by the way? Is that, you know, aren't there any friends? Uh, they go out on the street and uh, obtain the services of a hooker. I, that's all, I've always wondered about that. Discriminatory, it's, quite honestly. You're right. It is discriminatory. Jennifer, you want to take it from here? Yes. The Navy is being told it can't enforce a COVID-19 vaccine mandate. That means about 35 sailors who sued the president won't be punished for refusing to get their shots. Nearly 380,000 homes and businesses are without power this morning in five eastern states after that big snowstorm moster in Virginia. And it looks like a football star is rapping again. Antonio Brown released a song on Instagram. After he was cut by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, he left in the middle of a game against the Jets. We've got your drive with DKFI in the sky in the 405 next. Did you know your ugly, crap, stained, embarrassing driveway, patio, or walkway can actually earn your money? I'm Larry Green, CEO of System Pavers, America's number one designer and installer of elegant outdoor living systems. This season, love your home again and turn your old hardscapes into big savings with our free demolition and instant recycling cash credit. Call System Pavers today at 888-PAVE-002 and you'll save like never before because we'll demolish and remove your old ugly concrete or asphalt for free and give you an instant recycling cash credit toward our beautiful interlocking pavers, SP turf, custom built in barbecues, fire pits, and wonderful outdoor lighting. This could add up to hundreds, even thousands in savings, but you must call now at 888-PAVE-002. 888-PAVE-002. 888-PAVE-002 or systempavers.com. All orders must be placed by January 31st and must commence within 60 days of purchase. See website for full details. Contractor's license 661575. Feel like everything costs a bajillion dollars lately? Del Taco gets it. And they got you. Del Taco's new 20 under 2 menu includes 20 fresh made guacamole, cheesy, spicy, and crunchy items for under $2 each. Can I get a Del Yeah? Price of participation may vary. So Cal weather from KFI, sunny today with highs in the mid-50s to the mid-60s. This report is brought to you by Del Taco. Let's look at that drive on the 405. You betcha. San Fernando Valley. I tell you what, if you're south on the 405 now coming through Sherman Way, don't pinch yourself. Yep, you're driving the right freeway 405. Boy, it's empty. It really is. It's truly just a wonderful drive all the way down to the 101. A little slow on the uphill side, that's for sure. But, uh, boy, you might even get to work or your destination early this morning. Good drive. Now, we had a look. We went up to the uh, 405 at the 118 and the 5 at the 118. We were getting reports about problems with both spots. Uh, I didn't say a thing. Everybody's just moving along there. Even the 170 looking good. There was a little bit of a problem uh, before we were over in Glendale, West 134, in between Brand and Central and Pacific. But uh, we still over to the shoulder. Not a big deal. We're going to head out to the Santa Monica Freeway right now. We're just coming through the Coinga Pass. Might be a problem around Washington. More on that coming up. Injured in an accident. This is Superwoman, Superboy.com. Jeff Barr, KFI in the sky. This report is sponsored by iAccidentLawyer.com. I, 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 I,
$8.5 million for motorcyclists suffering severe injury delay. If you ever come to guess why our results may vary, no guarantee, automobile fail to yield in daytime accident. If you thought you missed the lowest mortgage rates in history, you're in luck because they're back. Mortgage rates are near historic lows again. So if you have a mortgage, refinance it and forget it. You'll never have to worry about refinancing again. Network Capital Funding is offering a low 15-year fixed rate at 1.875% with a 2.01 APR. Incredible! Network Capital has built a reputation for saving people time and money with our unique process that's fast, simple, and secure. Our 15-year fixed rate is 1.875% with a 2.01 APR. Second chances don't come often, and you may never see these rates again. So refinance it and forget it. That's a 15-year fixed rate at 1.875%. Yes, 1.875% with a 2.01 APR. Call the experts at Network Capital now. Call 800-500-NUMBER-1-HIT. 800-500-1-HIT. As in home run. Call now and save big on your refi. 800-500-1-HIT. 800-500-1448. You know you is the Game Changing Fitness app with real-time coaching, daily live workouts with friends, and thousands of on-demand classes like strength, boot camp, yoga, and more. And right now, Neo U has an offer too good to miss. Get a 50% lifetime discount and pay just $3.99 per month when you sign up by January 30th. That's a lifetime 50% discount on your Neo U subscription, plus a 60-day free trial to kickstart your 2022 fitness routine. Get started now at neoufitness.com. That's neoufitness.com. By now, you've heard the news. Boosters for Pfizer, Moderna, and Johnson & Johnson vaccines are available. They help keep your immunity strong and help keep you and others protected against COVID-19 and its variants. Visit myturn.ca.gov to find out if you're eligible and to find a booster near you. Let's keep each other safer and healthier this winter. Get your booster, and don't forget to get your flu shot, too. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. At Ralph, fresh groceries are our thing. So we check your delivery order for freshness at every step from farm to store. And pick and pack every veggie in your free pickup order with care. Because we treat your food the way we want ours to be treated. We're fresh every day, so shop anyway. Ralph, fresh for everyone. Free pickup on orders of $35 or more. Restrictions may apply. Earn a $25 e-gift card when you spend $100 on participating diapers, laundry supplies, and more with your digital coupon. Ralph's, fresh for everyone. Restrictions may apply. This is Leland Smith, owner of Service Champion Plumbing, Heating, and AC. You might find this hard to believe, but the thing that makes me the happiest is when my customers' heaters don't break down. That's right, we love not fixing heaters. We're first and foremost a maintenance company. We catch problems before they happen, when they're tiny and inexpensive. We only charge $88 for a comprehensive precision tune-up and professional cleaning, and our goal is to catch every single problem and make your heater last longer and run more efficiently. That's why we even guarantee our tune-ups. If your unit breaks down this season, we'll refund your $88 for credit it towards the repair. That's how serious we are about not fixing heaters. Call Service Champions right now to schedule your $88 tune-up at 833-777-7777 or find us online at servicechampions.com. I'm Stephen Rinella, host of the Meat Eater podcast and the Netflix original series Meat Eater. As a hunter and wildlife enthusiast, the question comes up, how can you justify killing and eating animals that you love and protect? Well, that's part of what we wrangle with on the Meat Eater podcast along with broader and often funnier discussions about living an outdoor life in the modern world. We insist on sharing challenging opinions to inspire thought and action. So listen to the Meet Eater podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcast. If to get into a football game in the year 2029, I have to show my 12th COVID vaccine proof. That's where we're headed because here is Omicron. And then who's next? Pie is next, right? I don't think I could be afraid of pie. Oh, apple or cherry? Yeah, it says this sounds kind of... John and Ken. We gave it to... I have an infected pie on KFI. <laughs> This is a, a Tuesday morning, January 4th, and it's cold. A couple of big stories that we're following. Uh, CEO Elizabeth of uh, Moranos 
found guilty of fraud, uh, conspiracy, money laundering, so she's going down for a very long time. And if you're calling 911, be prepared for a wait. And uh, because so, so many 911 operators, dispatchers are out because of COVID. Uh, a story that I, uh, you know how I love these stories. And this has to do with sex workers. First of all, let's start with uh, just the political correctness of calling them sex workers. Whatever happened to the term hookers? Really? They're sex workers. Okay. I mean, they are, but... I am not bold, I am follicularly yeah. challenged. Because welcome to the world of political correctness. And here's what's going on. Uh, and uh, this is, uh, especially in the more liberal states. And that is, uh, the cops are not going after uh, the women for the booking for money. They're actually going after the women for loitering. And that's kind of interesting. Uh, and that's the way they're doing the end around. Because there are more and more laws that simply say, you know what, we're not going to go for it. Not so much, and the lawyering hasn't caught up. It's fascinating, and there are groups of people who are in favor of uh, these women, these women, uh, as individuals. And what they're doing is uh, they think that the loitering, uh, the loitering arrests and convictions are a good thing. Even though they're pro-sex workers. Now, what is that? Does that make any sense at all? It does in sort of a weird way. And here's why it is. The argument is that sex workers, hook, uh, hookers, are for the most part abused women. Especially those of uh, lower economic status and they're very cheap and they're actually a surgeon to the movie from the book. And you talk about women of color and women who are poor and they seem to be uh, the majority of the women who are on the street and who are successful. Hey John, I've always said that. Why is it I always say John? Very simple. And so, what, the, those people who are uh, in favor of these women and protecting them, you want the world and you want them to listen. So why is that? Because to get to be here, we want 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 to get to be here, on how many women are actually being abused. So they're forced to walk the street for their support. Right? So you got programs that help put that train them, put them to work. And it's the question of fewer and fewer women doing it. Now, are there women who simply do this because they want to do this? I'm sure. I'm sure. Pretty good money. Uh, it's not a very high skill set that one needs. You know, you're not uh, going and trying to push your marketable skills. Now, I don't know the percentage. No one knows the percentage. Uh, no. Admit it that they're being abused, especially if there's a pimp uh, that's staring outside of a second floor window, seeing uh, his, what do they call the women? Uh, the stable of uh, women that he has. And I'm in favor of women making that choice. I, as far as the moral decision that prostitution is going to come on, grow up, huh? Are you to tell someone what kind of sex they should or should not have? As long as everybody consents, do you care that money is being exchanged? You ever go to Amsterdam, oh, the red light okay. district? 
I mean, that is the way to run a hooker neighborhood. I mean, literally is a controlled neighborhood where women rent these uh, little tiny rooms and buildings, ground floor, sometimes second floor.